University research covers pretty much every academic discipline you can think of, from the creative arts right through to the STEM subjects of biology or chemistry or physics. It's something which takes many forms and it can um, manifest itself in terms of books or articles and papers um, or policy documents that are given to, uh, to governments and much else besides. We're all now uh, just coming out of the effects of the COVID pandemic. And of course, if we cast our minds back to the grim days of the, uh, the early pandemic, we were all desperate for a vaccine. Where did the vaccine come from ultimately? It's from the work of uh, the great universities who put the effort into producing things like the Oxford vaccine. Of course, they're reflecting the work of scientists at that university. If you look at the history of uh, universities over a longer period, um, the magnificent work that was done on, for example, DNA, the um, amount of work that went into developing uh, antibiotic uh, treatments, and more recently, the constant work that, that is being um, carried out in universities to deal with the uh, the great scourge that is cancer. The universities are central to a whole range of other areas. Um, think about policy making and the way in which uh, governments, uh, local authorities, authorities and others um, form their policies. They look to the expertise that comes from the university research. Uh, NGOs or charities, uh, many community groups draw upon the work of university research as do activists in, in, in particular uh, lobby groups or, 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 or areas. It's been estimated recently that the universities in the UK uh, produce something in the region of 95 billion a year for the economy. If you think um, over the last 50 years or so, there's been a massive expansion of science parks where companies have moved in to be close so that they can capitalize upon the uh, innovations and ideas and techniques that are being developed by, uh, by academics. Take a few examples, robotics down in, uh, in Bristol, marine engineering in Southampton, um, in the Midlands, a lot of work in the, uh, connected to the car industry. Really pretty much wherever you look around the country, you'll see examples of uh, work being done at the cutting edge of engineering and science, all of which is being uh, uh, fostered within the universities, very often working, of course, in close collaboration with, uh, with local businesses. Next time you switch on the radio and there's a news item, uh, a documentary, you could be pretty sure that there'll be an academic from one of our major universities or crop up to tell you in layman's terms, hopefully, why something is important, whether it be about the political system or what would be uh, the economic consequences of a particular uh, uh, you know, problem such as inflation. It'll be academic experts who will be providing the information and the, and the specialist knowledge. Every time you go to a museum or to an art gallery, what you will do is you will see, obviously, the latest exhibition that's been put on, on whatever the subject might be. Who will have worked with that? It will have been the academics from the university who are the research experts who have been advising curators and, and, and the museums on how they should go about their work. Films are another example which are, are, are very important. Every time you watch one of those Sunday evening uh, costume dramas, there will have been a historian and there will have been a costume expert and there will have been somebody who is aware about, uh, about the culture of the time who will have been informing the, um, uh, the, the, the filmmakers as they went about their task. Research is, is vital to the preser preservation of heritage, uh, looking at you know, sort of translations of works, um, re the rediscovery sometimes of works or, 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 or preservation of them. Universal research is connected to that. Research is crucial to the world around us. It contributes in so many ways um, and it also contributes, we should not forget, to the importance of teaching. There's no doubt if you go into a, a university and you have somebody who is on the top of their game when it comes to the understanding of a subject and is, it has the passion and the, the new knowledge that they wish to convey, that this is how we manage to, uh, to, to see that you know, the new, next generation of scientists or, um, or uh, uh, social scientists or whatever is formed. It's from, it's from uh, listening to professors and lecturers who are very much at the cutting edge of their, uh, of their field. It's fundamental to what a university is and those university researchers are contributing on every level to the health, welfare, economy, and general well-being of the population, not only of the UK, but of uh, the world beyond.